Three, two, one, boom! Dan with Mad Nasty Trapping coming back at you again. Let me get this video a little bit closer here, guys. I know you like to get close and personal, don't ya? Okay, so over the last few days, a little bit of recap. I came out with Michigan Legal bucket sets for 220 kind of bear traps. That was video one. Video 2 instructionals. Today, I'm going to come out with another quick instructional video. Um, it's pretty basic and simple, guys. I got a request uh, from one of my viewers this afternoon that says, Hey, do you build bait buckets? Do you go and build feeders for coons? And I said, yes. And they said, well, how do you go about doing that? And what are the laws pertaining to building feeders for coons in Michigan? And I said, you know what? Rather than just answering this to one person, I'm going to get it out there for the greater knowledge of all of my fans, followers, subscribers, and notification bell pushers. So if you could do me a solid, please go on to YouTube channel, Mad Nasty Trapping. Hit that subscribe and notification bell and keep watch for even more instructional videos such as this one and the last two instructional videos I had the night before and the night before that and the night before that and that and that and that, and that. it's pretty cool I come out with a lot of informational instructional videos for all of you what's up Michael Paradise Mike Paradise you are the man my friend we need to get together and start prepping for this next trap season I know you got some muskrat holes that you need to go and fill me in on brother it's nice to see you back in the room how you doing Michael Paradise Dude. Anyways, so today's topic is making, I, I like making Michigan legal everything. So we're going to call this one Michigan Legal Bait Buckets for Coons. All right. Now, before I get into how this, before I get into how this feeder bait bucket of sorts is made, I'm going to get into the legalities, okay? That's, that's what I do first. I want to make sure that we are completely on the same page here, guys, that legal is legal. Every state has different laws. Please refer to your local state hunting and trapping law book for the legal routes that you need to take. Don't take me as... You know, the proper legal way for your individual states. Make sure you check out your laws in your individual states before, uh, you know, you go attempting anything I do. Don't blame it on Mad Nasty. It's all upon you. Anyways, so that being said, here in Michigan, um, nowhere inside the Michigan hunting or trapping handbook does it say that you can bait or, for that matter, not bait for raccoon it falls under different stipulations than it does under deer baiting and other animal species of baiting etc there is no laws regulations etc on raccoon baiting okay um i did call up the conservation officer and I asked them the specific question, can I legally bait for raccoon? And they said, if you can find a way to legally, or if you can find a way to bait for raccoon and have it be raccoon specific so that other species do not get to that bait, then it is legal. But that bait must not be accessible to other animal species besides raccoon. So I did a little bit of research, guys, and I went and I, uh, when I dug a little deeper into it, I realized that, you know what? What does a raccoon have that other species don't? In the species that are in Michigan, the one thing that raccoons have above and beyond all others is they have what you call movable appendages. Guys, right answer. For the five of you guys that said, yes, we know what that is. But for the ones that don't, movable appendages are like fingers. It means you can grab 
okay? So one you can grab, because you are a raccoon, and you can grab particles and bait and food and different substrates and such, that sets you apart from other species in Michigan, because raccoon is the only one, to the best of my knowledge, in Michigan that can grab with movable appendages or fingers of sorts, all right? So I got to thinking and kicking back and throwing some ideas around and doing a little bit of research on who else has made feeders and buckets, etc. And there's a lot of them that are made out of like spare tires where they cut holes inside spare tires, guys. Um, there's a whole lot of other ones that use like a PVC pipe and then put like a Y channel at the bottom, you know. And there's a whole huge array of feeders for multiple different species of animal. But the one main coon specific feeder that I found out of all the research I did is the one I'm holding here in my hand. I don't give credit for the design, but I give credit for pushing this design extremely hard. I use these, I use these feeders right here religiously. It is completely legal in Michigan because it is a coon specific track or a coon specific feeder okay guys now i'm not going to go into the actual building of it itself but i will show you how it is built okay this is your this is your two and a half gallon and they're marked i want to say it's two and a half gallon sorry three and a half gallon marked bucket on the bottom side it can be anywhere i picked these ones up from myers Myers, sponsor this guy. I'm in Michigan just like you guys are. Sponsor me, Myers. But uh, you can get these buckets anywhere. Home Depot has them. Uh, your local hardware stores has them. Um, I've been told you can go and pick them up from, uh, you know, places that sell paint, etc. Um, you know, bakeries and stuff have a lot of these buckets. This is a three and a half gallon bucket and a matching fit lid all right guys now what i do on here is raccoons being that they are the only ones in michigan that have appendages that are movable right opposable appendages i think i like that term that should be accurate fact check me anyway um what i do is i come through on your bucket you can hang your feeder up whatever you choose to do or just set it on the ground as i do you're going to go and drill a hole in your bucket, slightly smaller than the PVC pipe that's going into it, okay? When you go and you drill your hole in the bucket, <laughs> no nasty comments, guys. Keep it G Disney rated. Anyways, when you cut the hole in the bucket, you're going to cut it a hair smaller than as the size of the pipe, all right? Cut it a hair smaller than it should be and run your slits into your bucket okay and what you're going to do is you're going to pick up and I, I used to drill I believe these are one and three quarters I believe one and three quarters diameter sorry I stand corrected one and a half inch pipe okay you got a male end and a female end right here this is a 45 degree angle pipe piece all right these things are only like i don't know dollar fifty maybe a dollar or something like that you can get them cheap they're available at the hardware store again you want a male end and a female end right here on a 45 degree angle okay and the whole purpose of this pipe is when you put it into the bucket that raccoon can grab in and it can grab pieces of bait out of your bucket nothing else out there at least in Michigan guys can reach into that bucket grab and actually grab the bait and pull it out that's what makes it raccoon specific that's what makes it legal right here in Michigan okay so you get your hole drilled out you cut little notches in there to make it a little bit bigger then you take your 45 degree angle pipe angle downwards pop it in just like so 
and on the opposite side of the bucket, so you guys, on the opposite side of the bucket, you're going to do the same thing. Hole, cut your slices in there, pop it in there, okay? On the inside of the bucket, you should have something like that, and you only have to fill your bait to slightly above those pipes, okay? I use in my traps, um, you guys can use whatever the hell you want. And honestly, it wouldn't be such a bad idea if you filled it with feed corn. Feed corn works well. Um, I, I use whatever cheap meat-based dried dog food I can. All right? Um, the one in particular that I choose to buy is available at Walmart. It's called Old Roy All Meaty or All Old Roy Extra Meaty Dry Dog Food. I can get it like a 60 pound value bag for like $17 or something silly. So, um, you know, yes, this is a three and a half gallon bucket, but you don't necessarily have to fill it all the way up, guys. If you fill it up to just above the pipe, that way you don't have an excess amount of bait around, even though there's not a limit to how much bait you can have in there. There's no rules in Michigan that stipulate how much bait or what bait you can put in here. It just has to be coon accessible only. So, um, that, that, with that being said, and I know I got a lot of comments coming in here, guys. I will answer all of your questions for you. I'm not ignoring you guys. Um, but yeah, with that being said, it's as easy as that. Fill your bait of your choosing just above that line right there. And uh, once you get it filled up, pop your lid on that sucker. Make sure you've got it on there tight. Run it all the way around. Make sure it's completely on there. Because these coons are smart, guys. They will try to pull the lids. I've had coons chew the tops. Make sure you have extra lids. Make sure you have extra buckets, extra pieces, extra parts. Make sure that you can go and do as needed repairs on these buckets. Because the coons are not gentle on them, I promise you. Oh, they get a little bit frustrated. They can eventually figure it out, but they get frustrated when they can smell the bait, but can't get to the bait, and they have to work it through the holes. Once they figure it out, they're happy campers. They got all the free food they want in the world. But until then, they will chew, they will try to pop lids, whatever you got to do. Oh. <coughs> As a last comment, guys, um, you know, as always, double and triple check your state game laws. Take my advice and my builds as a Michigan-based only, and you guys definitely need to fact check everything. I don't want to advise you guys into doing something that would be breaking the law, and you should know better to always look up your laws and regulations and don't take it from a dude that just does it as word of gold. All right, guys, so that's that's the building of the buckets. Um, I set them clean, clear on the ground. Never had a problem with them. Um, the leprechauns don't steal them, I promise you. Um, you can also go and hang it by handle from a tree branch. Doesn't matter. In Michigan, um, you do not have to have it labeled with your name and address and phone number or a trapping tag or anything. This bait bucket can go out just as it is and you can place it anywhere on state land and yes you can place these on state land year round guys there are no stipulations on it so it's a beautiful thing to go and do you know spring summer and fall get those critters patterned in to coming to these buckets so when the season opens you're one step ahead of the game they're already patterned to coming in. They've already got some nice work trails coming into this feeder, and it allows you an easy position to set up. Season opens, eliminate the buckets, and replace the traps. There's your mad nasty trapping instructional on your coon specific Michigan legal bait buckets. All right, I'm gonna get to some of these questions here, guys. And let's get rocking on them. Dun, 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 dun. God, there's a lot of them. Uh, Mike Paradise says, what's up, Dan? What's up, Mike Paradise? 
Uh, da, da, da. Stanley Dingus gives a thumbs up, man. Hey, Stanley. I like seeing you back in here again, brother. I, I like seeing you back in here as a repeat, repeat viewer. There's more and more and more stuff coming. And uh, Dustin gives a wave. What's up, Dustin? Zach's in the house. Come on, Zach. You got to keep it G-rated when I do my instructionals, buddy. I, I like you, dude, but I can't reply to your... I, I can't even mention your comments, man, when I'm trying to forward these out there to different forums and such. Random days, random topics, doesn't matter. But anytime I do an instructional or a how-to vid, I, I got to keep it G-rated. I can't even respond to your comments, man. I apologize. Um, ben Walker says... Been doing that with buckets for years. Fantastic, Ben Walker. Hey, what uh, what state are you in? And in your state, does it vary? Or are there differences on what is legal versus illegal versus our uncharted territory and no discrepancies on buckets here in Michigan except for Coon Specific? Hit me up. Let me know some details, bud. Uh, Jaquise says, hey, what's up, Dan? Hey, bud. Mike Paradise says, do you paint your buckets? No, absolutely not. Um, I feel there's no need to. Um, I do like to go and run. You know, I've been running white buckets, and I think that uh, white buckets are a beautiful thing to have on state land in the winter time. They hide a little bit better in the snow, guys. Um, whether it be bait buckets or whether it be the many, many trapping buckets that you see me build the other day. Um, I have not seen one benefit over another as far as catch count or curiosity or anything else enticing wise that is color specific. I have not personally noticed anything like that. So no, I do not go and camouflage paint them or whatever. I just use standard ass buckets, whether it be Myers buckets, Homer's buckets from Home Depot, uh, Menard's green buckets, or whatever. It doesn't matter, in my opinion. But that's a good question. But no, I do not paint my buckets. Um, white buckets in the wintertime, again, they hide a little bit better. It blows my mind, guys. But these right here, these feeder buckets, even more so for whatever ungodly stupid BS reason that I don't understand, these buckets, my feeder buckets, get stolen more often than my bucket sets with 220s in them. Personally, I think it's a bunch of lounge and loaf and yo-yo other backwoods outdoorsmen, possibly, that might go and like to take this bucket out to their hunting spot and use it as a freaking chair. I don't know. Why in the hell else would you steal a bucket with two PVC pipes and it filled with dog food? I don't freaking know. Doesn't make any damn sense. But if you get white buckets and there's snow on the ground, they hide a little bit better. Besides that, you know, I don't know. But there's your answer on that one, Mike. Kevin says, sweet idea. And Firefighter York says, what up, bro? What up, Firefighter? Um, yeah, that's basically it. I want to keep this one short and sweet, guys. I got a lot of work to do in my garage. I went and I picked up me uh, uh, a nice big ripe stack of another 10 bucket sets, another six lids, and uh, I picked up another, I picked up another two of the three and a half gallon pails with lids for those to start building more feeders. That's how it's done, guys. That's Michigan. That's state legal. That is your Michigan state legal coon specific feeders. You guys are absolutely awesome. Uh, I got a lot of work to do, so I am going to jump off of here. Uh, I appreciate all my viewers tonight, guys. It's been a pretty good turnout, and I hope to continue to see all of you guys on a regular basis, everybody in this room, and all of my other fans, followers, subscribers, notification bell pushers. You guys mean everything to me. You guys give me the drive.
to keep on producing this different off-the-wall topics, instructionals, and entertaining videos for all of you. I do it for all of you. If you guys got requests or would like to see me do an instructional video or an entertainment video or even an off-topic video, hit me up on Facebook Messenger, Dan Edwards. Throw me your comments and I'd love to go and make the stuff that you guys want to see because it is truly all about you. All right? I'm Dan Edwards. They call me Mad Nasty Trapping. You can see me on YouTube channel, Mad Nasty Trapping, if you've been living underneath a rock. Make sure you go and hit that subscribe and that notification bell. And don't miss any of my future episodes and videos and instructionals and entertainment. All right, guys? There's a whole lot coming up this next season, and I don't want to get into it yet. Make sure, subscribe, notification bell, YouTube channel, Mad Nasty Trapping. You are not going to want to miss this season, guys. It's going to be unbelievable. Way beyond last season. Last season was good, but this season is going to be unbelievable. Facebook, Dan Edwards. Messenger, Dan Edwards. Instagram, Mad Nasty Trapping. Snapchat, Mad Nasty Trapping. No G at the end because it wouldn't let me. And you can get me on Twitter, Mad Nasty Trapping. I will be coming out with a schedule and exclusive videos per each social media site. So, a little bit of inside source information here, guys. For instance, not set in stone yet, but my schedule might include new video on Monday on YouTube, new video on Facebook on Tuesday, new video on Wednesday on Instagram, new video on Live Me app on Thursday, on Friday might be a Snapchat video. Something along those lines. Different exclusive content across the board, but in the long run, everything's going to filter back and every video will be posted for replay on YouTube channel Mad Nasty Trapping. So that's your number one source for all things. But if you want to see it live, you got to go by the schedule. If you want to see the replays, YouTube channel Mad Nasty Trapping. Hit that subscribe and that notification bell so you don't miss anything, guys. I'm out of here. It's been a pleasure. I love you all. Be safe and prep for the next season. It's coming sooner than you.